Hi and welcome to Fully Booked and Bonkers. <laughs> I'm my name's Ian. I'm just frying the shit out of Bev here. <laughs> we are an extension of the Facebook group Fully Booked, the Bonkers bit being us. Um, but we're here to talk about things with, regarding books, who writes them, what you've read, what you liked, what you didn't like, and all the bits in between that goes into it, and lots of extensions from that. But as we're going to talk about books, and this is the first one, the best way to kick this off is I'm going to obviously introduce you to Bev, who writes under the name of B.C. Harris, whose first book, um, Conspiracy of Cats, was published in August last year. Um, and I'm going to ask Bev to um, tell us a little bit about the book um, without giving any spoilers away. So Bev, tell us a little bit about it, please. Okay, okay. Yeah. Um, Conspiracy of Cats is a supernatural murder mystery. I'll continue with my margaritas. Oh yeah, feel mind. free. Thank you very much. I'm Jane. Margarita time. I can't talk in so margarita <laughs> at the same time. Carry on, <laughs> Damn sorry. you. Anyway, um, Joss is the, the the main character in the book is Joss. Joss Ferguson. She's 23 and she's quite an anxious young woman. Um, <clears> she <throat> lost her parents when she was 15 and she ended up living with her auntie Jude. And Jude is quite a, a difficult person to live with. Uh, she's tightly wound, isn't she, Jude? Yeah, and she's mm. she's a bit, she's sort of semi-reclusive as well. Okay. Mm. But it just so happens that she does have an outing. She has to go to the vet with one of her cats. She has quite a lot of cats. And while she's out, the phone goes and just takes a call from a lady called Biola. Now, Biola is someone from Jude's past. Jude and her late husband, Peter, lived for many years in Tanzania, uh, close to Mount Kilimanjaro, and they settled there, and Peter built a house for them to live in called the White House, a lovely house. And while they were living there, they had a housekeeper, and Biola Nairiri was their housekeeper. And after Peter died, Jude returned to Scotland, to Edinburgh, and Biola continued to look after the house. And it's Biola who calls Joss, and she is invited to come to the White House, to stay, see the house that her uncle built, and meet Biola and her family. So we join Joss at the beginning of the book, when she is actually getting off the plane in Tanzania. In Tanzania, right, yes, we do, yeah. But we do find out about her backstory as well through the course of the book. Yes, yeah, yeah. It's all, all, all the things that I've mentioned so far are sort of jammed up in the middle. I'm, I'm, I'm trying not to give any, any, okay. any spoilers. Yeah. But it does tell you on the back of the book that, that yeah. her uncle Peter isn't as dead as he should be. Right. And no, se no sooner has Joss arrived and unpacked than she encounters Peter. Okay. And once she gets over the shock of that, they begin to forge a relationship founded on the fact that can Peter... I, can I ask you a question about Peter? Mm -hmm. um, what is Peter? Because Peter, Peter will tell you he's not a ghost. Mm. So what is Peter? Well, he just, he just believes that his energy has changed into something else. That okay. because he's not ready to leave. Okay. He he has made it him and and, and a, a very good friend of his have right. made it possible for him to remain long enough to to wait for Joss to catch him up. Right. Okay. Oh, okay. Because he needs her help. He wants revenge. He was murdered. He wants revenge. Yeah. yeah. But he needs Joss to help him right, to okay. achieve that. Right. Okay. Okay. So on 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 the way to um. He, he, you say he, he wants revenge. How's he? How's he going to get? I mean, he's, he's dead. Mm. Okay, and he's. Well, not, that's what he needs not, Joss not, for. Right. Okay. So he uses Joss. In... Yeah, but they, they're, they're. He, Peter has a, a sort of a, a plan, if you like. He's right. always had a plan, and Joss was at the, the sort of spearhead of that plan. But when they actually get together, it's like all best played, laid, laid plans. It, um, doesn't go to plan, funnily enough. And uh, th things, you know, there's some extra things that are going on with Joss and Peter. Some are quite funny. Yeah. Uh, as they go about their business. Okay, okay. 
and there's obviously lots of different characters because obviously there's the the Libon, the, 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 the Maasai warriors. Yeah, yeah. a, a Libon is a <coughs> Westerners would call him a witch doctor. Right. So she meet yeah she meets quite a lot of col- colorful characters along the way. Question, test a question. What's the Libon in your book's name? Edward Laputo Ingoyo. Right. Okay. Because how many times I read it, I, yeah, I, I, I never get it right. <laughs> so, listen, I, I, we've read the book. I mean, obviously, there's, there's a lot of things that the reviews say, or some of the reviews are saying, for example, more. it's a very satisfying end. And I, and, and I actually yeah. expressed that. I said, yeah, actually, that's the best way of expressing it. Because it is, after all the trials and tribulations of, of the book with... Mm. I mean, there is a conspiracy of cats in the book. Um, you... You get to a very, very sad, satisfying end. But a lot of the reviews, and having read the book myself, I've said, you know, um, will there be a sequel? Is there going to be a sequel? Because it's. I don't know. Well, Possibly. Yeah. Probably. <clears throat> yeah. But what, what, so, okay, so what else is happening? If, if there's not going to be a sequel, what else is happening? No, 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 no. <coughs> I, think, I think that there will be, there will be a sequel. But um, I've got. I'm working on uh, on editing, making sacrifices, which is the 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 book that's going to come out later this year. So my right. second book. We'll talk about that another time. Okay, and I <coughs> I also have um, two works in progress. Um, one is in a fairly early stages. Um, that's there, there's about three or four <coughs> main characters in that one, and there's also the one that I'm working on just now. Uh, with Felice and Jade and the accidental assassin. Okay. So, so there's quite a lot going on that I have to think about before. before but it will take time. Yeah. For a sequel. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. But th- these characters, they they've they've spent a long time with you, though. <sighs> do, do you do you write a book, have a character, and say da da, and then it's dispensed <coughs> with? Um, yeah. Enjoy your margarita. Oh. <laughs> That's a question. Mm. Right. Well, you're talking, Are so they... I'm having a wee, a wee break. I, mean, I know some of the answers to this, but obviously it gives me an opportunity to ask here some questions as well about the characters. Is that <coughs> you daydream about these characters because you're, you know, they're, you're creating them in your head. Oh, I, I daydream about them how do you, for Do you build these years. characters? So go on, tell us about how that happens. Like the characters from Conspiracy of Cats, for example, your, your, your first, first movie. I probably thought about them all for about 20 years. Um, they're just sort of there's a vague idea of a story and obviously you need people to illustrate the story so I invent all these people and I give them names and I give them sort of attitudes and relationships jobs and places to live and, and a car if it's appropriate and then I get to know them I spend years getting to know them and I have a vague idea about what to, I, my story is going to be about but it's kind of like you've got to train these people to act out their roles because they're just like wandering about okay. sort of directionless just because, because I don't know them I don't they're all kind of bumping into each other so what you sometimes you create characters and you don't know where you're going to use them there's the character and yeah then, lots then, of characters just disappear you yeah. don't use them or they merge or yeah, whatever. Uh, just and, uh, are the characters that you've created in in your head, if you want for a bit, for a bit, in your creative head, where you then use them in a book later in the story later on? Because obviously you've got conspiracy, yes. you've got making sacrifices, you've yes, got the other Yes, 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 other yes, yes, yes. Up. Absolutely. I have the the two main characters um, in the second book um, ha- had their roots sort of somewhere else. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So you've got a lot of them. Yeah, there's, then, there's that, a the whole... The question that I originally asked, do they disappear? <coughs> no, months, no, Joss and Peter, and that's why I think there might have to be a sequel, because those two have just never bloody moved out. There's a whole load of them um, living in my head, characters from here, there and everywhere, and it's uh, a clan Janfrey in there. <laughs> What? A clan Jamfrey. A clan Jamfrey. Yes. A clan Jamfrey. A joyful rabble. A joyful rabbles. <laughs> yeah. Right. And 
There's five Gorgitas too. Okay. That's why it's um, a joyful rabble. We're having a moment. Yeah, that's our stand then, I think. Listen, there's going to be lots of other stuff as well. Um, let us know what you think, good or bad. It doesn't really matter. We're just having here to have a bit of fun. And there's going to be lots of other things going on, book reviews <coughs> and other stuff. Um, we'll make it up as we go along, but it'll be good fun. Thanks very much. See you again. Bye.